This is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I'm a little under the weather, so please excuse me um, if you, at times you have a hard time hearing me, understanding me, or maybe there might be some raw um, cuts in this video. Going into Prestige 2, but before I mention that, um, later this week I will be uploading a giveaway video for a thousand V-Bucks. I know this is Call of Duty Black Ops 4, but... Um, you know, one of the things that's going to be in my giveaway is every time I upload a new video, um, you can use that video as another entry. So you're going to want to make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit those notification button, or hit that notification button, I should say, um, so you'll know when I upload a new video. There will be a bunch of content coming up this week because I have been sick and been unable to do anything. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Nice way to kick off Season 7 of Fortnite. Here you can see right now I'm showing you my end time at the end of prestige 2 getting going to prestige 3 you got two days 23 hours and 42 minutes of playing time i do this in a lot of my videos i'll show you what they are i'll show you what the stats are here in a second i can care less about stats folks i play the game for camos i, I can care less how many times i die at the end of the day uh, my goal is to get to Master Prestige and get um, Dark Matter, which for the last four Call of Duties, I believe it is, I've done that each and every time, either before the first DLC or shortly after that. Now you can see here, this is the calling card we're going to get for going into Prestige 3. And you can see where I used the previous unlock token. On going into Prestige 1 for the Maddox, and I still have not used my unlock token for going into second Prestige. And actually, you know, here in, in the next day or so, I'll be uploading going into Prestige 4 uh, because, like I said, I've been sick, I haven't been able to get these videos up, but I still have not used my unlock token. I think when I start Prestige 4, I'm going to use it on the Swordfish. You can see right here, that's where I was sitting at on day. Uh, going into Prestige 1, uh, 23 hours and 59 minutes, basically one day played. Um, basically ran about two days playing time with the um, Prestige 2 because of me going for the headshots and everything. Just absolutely insane. Here, take a look at this. Here's a chart that I'm using for this year's Call of Duty and I've been doing these charts now for about 10 years and basically update them with each and every one and once I get everything done if I continue playing the game which um, to be honest with you I probably won't um, I'll start I'll edit my chart that I currently have um, for the calling cards and stuff like that but you can see here uh, everything in green is the camos I already have done uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I did and the last two or three Call of Duties as well is I'm going to be unlocking either all or most of my guns in one gameplay. I'll do that doing double XP and my record. Actually, I set the, I set the world record in Infinite Warfare for 505,000 XP, which was later broken by FIFA Kill, where he hooked up with some people and they did every gun in the game and scored over a million XP for that one game. It's pretty damn sweet. And here's a chart at the end of this prestige. You can see I've now finished off all the assault rifles that uh, where I want to get them to. The Titan for the light machine gun is finished, as well as I have the uh, Kusha. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Um, I've got the 100 kills for that done, as well as uh, the SDM. I'm up to uh, 40 on that. Uh, the shotguns are all are all done. So even though I had almost two days playing time, really a lot of that was with the uh, getting the headshots on the shotgun and getting the headshots for the sniper rifle. 
um, that's where a lot of time went because you know I'll always aim high for my headshots and I'll miss I'll miss quite a few shots and I, I don't care for that um, I'm going for headshots for, for those weapons and it was crazy getting the headshots on the SG-12 the uh, one-shot kills and the MOG-12 that was that was like cutting cake cutting uh, butter with a, a knife it was just super easy but again, that is where we're at right now. Now let me go show you the side-by-side -side comparison of these so you can see the, the advancement in the camos. At the top is at the end of Prestige 2 and at the bottom is at the end of Prestige 3. So you can see really how much more they got done with the, this one Prestige. You know, finishing off the shotguns, doing a Titan, getting um, the first nine camos done on the Kusha. And then, uh, you know, getting the first six camos done with the SGM. So, yeah, a big improvement over this one Prestige. Like I said, I can care less how long it takes me to get through it. But a, a lot of progress had taken place in this Prestige. Yeah, I'll be honest with you folks. If I haven't done this in the past, and I don't care how many views this gets or anything, it's more it's more like a... a uh, a record of mine type thing um, a log so I can go back and look at you know the stuff I've done in the past of the Call of Duties um, if it gets views it gets views if it doesn't it doesn't I'm not making no money off this account so um, I'm not pushing it the way I would if I was making money but with that said you know, it is always nice to go back and look and see how, how fast it took you to do something you can go back and look at the guns that was in one Call of Duty from another and that helps out with the charts that I make because um, I can also go back and look at the camos and stuff like that again you can see I, I still haven't used the permanent unlock token that I got from last prestige you know I really have no need to but I'm going to um, because another video that I'll be uploading here surely which I'm almost done with with uh, Prestige 3, I'm at uh, 52 or 53, I believe it is. Um, I will take in, um, unlock the um, Swordfish, which I think it's, that's what it's called, on level 55 there. I'll use my unlock token for there. So let's go ahead and go into Enter Prestige, and you can see you get the Prestige icon. With I don't know why they've only got one red eye. That's kind of weird. And you get the permanent unlock token, which will give me two permanent unlock tokens and another extra custom class slot which I really don't even use all the ones that I have but those extra slots will come in handy towards the end of the run of Row 2 Dark Matter because you need all those slots um, so you can put two weapons on when you need to use two weapons instead of primary and a secondary and I'll also have to use one of my prestige unlock tokens for overkill go ahead and, and activate this now I'm in prestige 3 you can see the icon up there for Prestige 4. I've got 55 more levels to go. Again, show you the, the stuff that's on there. And again, you can see the, you know, I've already used that permanent unlock token. You can see it says right there, permanently, permanently unlocked from using the permanent unlock token. Well, there you go, folks. Um, again, do not forget, if you are a Fortnite player, I will be doing a Fortnite giveaway. Um, it will go live later this week. Also, I'll make a challenge to everybody out there. You see, I had 3,500 um, COD points. Those are the ones that was given to me. I am not going to use those. Every one of my videos, you'll see that 3,500 COD point up there. This game has been so screwed up. I, I don't care it, how good the item is, I am not going to use those. And I challenge any other player out there to not use uh, the COD points. Wait for the next Call of Duty. If you don't know that, if you have COD points, you can take these 3,500 COD points right now and go to Black Ops 3 if you want to and use them there. Don't use them in this game. Don't let them get you even more than you already got. Because this game is so screwed up, just like the people that reserved the variant for the pistol at GameStop. Now you can take and purchase it. That is so screwed up. It's a slap in the face, and they just lied 
to us numerous and numerous times. As long as we keep letting it happen, it will keep happening. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.